Hi, I am Shantanu Tamuli from the Department of Veterinary Biochemistry in Assam Agricultural University. Today, I am going to uh, show you, uh, demonstrate you how to do the two-way mixed ANOVA using the R software. So, it's an easy way of doing this uh, ANOVA in R. So, I am assuming that I am showing you the data. So, this is the data I have obtained uh, in case of rats. So, this is the data of the serum triglycerides. So, here there are three, there are three treatment groups. All these groups of the rats, they were given di uh, different treatments and then their serum triglycerides was determined and this is the mean plus minus standard error. So, the readings of the triglycerides were taken in three different days, zero day, seven day and 14 days and three groups and then this is the way we calculated the mean and standard error. Now our objective is to find out if there is any difference between the three groups in zero day then next in on the day 7 and next is on day 14. So, this is the between group differences whether the three groups they are different in 0 day, 7 day and 14 day. If they are different then what is the I mean uh, which groups are actually different in day 0, day 7 and day 14. This is the first objective. Second objective is to find out the within group variation whether in the group 1 the values in the day 0, day 7 and day 14 they are different or in the day two, in the group 2 the day 0 day 7 day 14 are they different and in the day 3 whether the values in the day, uh, day 0 and day 7 and day 14 they are different so this is the within group variation and the earlier one this one is the between group variation so these two things are required to be analyzed so this can be done using the two way anova that is called mixed anova why it is called mixed anova because in this case these are the independent observations because three groups are independent. So, this is an independent observation. Then the next one, so this is the dependent observation because we are seeing the observation in the day 0, day 7 and day 40. So, this is a within group observation or within group variation. So, for this, this reason as both the ways are not independent. So, one way this one is independent and this one is the dependent. So, that is why we call it mixed ANOVA because it is the between group and within group ANOVA. So, this is called two way mixed ANOVA. So, this can be done very easily in the R. I will demonstrate now. So, to carry out the analysis in the R, so we require to install these packages dplyr. TIDR, Easy ANOVA, GGPU BR, then R Statics, Broom, and R Companion. So, let us go to the Excel file how we are to arrange our data. So, this is the Excel file. Let me delete this one. So, this is the Excel file. So, here the data is arranged in this manner. So, let me zoom it out to make it more clear okay so this is the group all small or only group i have written this is a day 0 i have written day 7 and day 14 and the last column is the id so id is the number i have given to each and every rat so if you in, in your case if it is an individual is a human being so or it is an any other animal just give a id to each and every subject Okay, and then these are the values of the group 1 in day 0, group 1 in day 7, group 1 in day 14. Then same way in the group 2, I have put the values in this manner. This manner we have to put the values up to group 3, all the values are put in this manner. Thereafter, what I do is, I go to the R software. So, these are the packages uh, that we are to install. So, all the codes which I will mention over here, these codes will be available in the link. So, I'll, the link to all these codes will be given in the description. You can take it by yourself. So, first of all, let us uh, uh, load all these packages. I just click run over here. So, the packages are loaded. 
then thereafter i come to the excel sheet in excel sheet i copy this data is copied come to the r software now using this particular code i need to i have to run this code to copy the data data got copied now the second code the next code is to uh, convert this data into the long form because this is not in the long form we have to convert it in the long form so for this this code can be used very easily only the thing is that that you have to change is this one 4 2 is to 4 what you can see is that 2 colon 4 it is written over here so this means that you have to merge column from 2 to 4 if we go back to the excel sheet so here we have four columns column number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 so we have to merge these three columns so that means the merging is to be done from column 2 to column 4 okay so here the id column which is there this is to be neglected so we have to take only the column where our values are there so these are the four columns so we have four columns that's why we put here four then we run this code then again we run this code again so what we see is that this is the data that has been converted to the long form okay now the next is we are to carry out the split plot ANOVA or two-way mixed ANOVA so for this this is the code so I have uh, modified this code in such a way that it can be made in the presentable form and it can be copied very easily to the excel so just uh, select these codes up to the let me select this code yeah up to write.csv you have to select and click run so thereafter this ANOVA table has been copied to the clipboard now thereafter the ANOVA that you have selected now this is required this can be copied to the excel paste it it gets pasted here so here it is getting pasted so easily the reason is that the reason is that uh, here I have already selected one option of the data okay but when you will do it in your computer in that case what is going to happen is that in that case what will happen is that this will come as a comma so for in that case what you will do you will have to once you paste it over here you will see that everything has come in the same cell so in that case just go to the data and then text to columns then click next so here you select the column this comma and then click finish then it will paste it in this manner so you'll have to do this exercise only once thereafter whatever you select from the uh, whatever you copy from the r this will be pasted in this manner so this is the anova table in the presentable form it has been copied here so it can be seen okay then the next after ANOVA what you can see is that this is a group there is a variation okay then time also there is a significant variation I mean there is a significant difference now we can go for the multiple comparison so for multiple comparison we come down this is the multiple comparison so this particular code is from the easy ANOVA package so here the design is equal to 4 so design 4 is the uh, it is for uh, split plot ANOVA and uh, uh, p dot adjust is equal to 5 so this indicates the Bonferroni correction so plot is equal to 3 this indicates the uh, QQ plot that you can see just now so if I just run this code so one plot is made so this plot is for to see the normality so we can see that our data is almost normal because uh, the points they lie on the uh, this particular line this is a qq plot now we go ahead we go for the residual analysis so residual analysis will tell us whether our data is fit for ANOVA or not so click run 
So after clicking run, what you see is that the P value of Shapiro Wilk normality test, it is 0 0.3796, it should be more than 0 0.05, so it is normally distributed. Then the Bartlett test, so you can see that it is lower, more than 0 0.05. So Bartlett test should also be more than 0 0.05. So this indicates the uh, equality, I mean, it is, uh, this indicates the uh, significance of the difference between the variance of the different groups. So it is, uh, this satisfies our uh, goal of uh, doing ANOVA. Now, after residual analysis, the next is the between group comparison. So for between group comparison, we just click over here. So now this is the between group comparison. So what you can see is that in the, the first one, you see it is the <coughs> plot in zero, that means in the zero day. So if you remember in my presentation that this is the day zero. So in the first is in the day zero, we will see that this this mean value is different different from this. What is their difference? <coughs> so this can be seen over here. So the day zero, what you see is that over the mean, we have to put the subscript of the A. Okay. Then on the group one, we have to put the superscript B. And the group 2, we have to put the superscript B. That means the one group 1 and group 2, they are similar. They are Their means are not different. But the group 3, the mean is different. That's why the superscript is different. Let the, I mean, the letter display is different. So this is the, the different methods by which uh, the, the multiple comparison has been carried out. This is the Tucky's test, SNK test, Duncan test. And the last one is the... Uh, pairwise t test with bonferroni correction okay now come to the day 14 so the day 14 okay the group or uh, every group has got different letters a b and c okay that means all groups are different in the day 14 now in the day 7 what you can see is that in the day 7 the group 1 and group 3 they have got the similar letter description while the group 2 has got the letter B. That means group B, uh, this group 2 is different from group 1 and group 3. So, what we come over here, so using this particular table, this uh, superscript, we put the superscript over day 0, day 7 and day 14. This is the way. So, here in the day 0, I put B, B and A, then day 7, A, B, A, then day 14 over the mean I have put this superscript. Now this is the between group comparison. Next is within group comparison. So for within group comparison, we will have to compare the means within a group. That means the group 1, day 0, day 7 and day 14, group 2, day 0, day 7 and day 14. This way we have to do the comparison. So for this we again go to the R software. So this is the within group comparison. Now for within group comparison, we'll have to carry out the pairwise t-test with Bonferroni correction. Okay. So for this, what we'll have to do, we'll have to go to the Excel sheet. So first is, this is the value of the group one. So what we will do, you select the values of the group one only. Okay. Do not select the days, only the select the values only exclusively only the values of the group one then copy them and then run this code code so now what you see down here what you can see here is that this is the value you've got so the v1 v2 v3 so v1 stands for day 0 v2 for this is because they it, we, we have not selected this day 0 day 7 day 14 because so that's why this v1 is for day 0 v2 is for day 7 v and uh, v3 is for day 14 so the day 1 i mean day 0 we have to put a then day uh, i mean uh, day 7 b and day 14 b so just uh, let me put it over here okay now again we do for same thing we'll do for group 2 so we select the values of the group 2 copy them 
and we run again the same line of the code same code we run and we get this a b c okay that means all the days uh, the in the group 2 all the days are different okay now same thing we do for group 3 we copy it and then we run the code now the group 3 the day 0 that is v1 it is a v2 is for day 14 day 7 sorry day, day 7 a and v3 is for day 14 it is b okay now all these things we have to put over here so this is the uh, this we have already put this is for between group variation now the we will put the within group variation the superscript over here so we can see that the between group superscript i have put capital and the small letters i have put for the within group variation so you can see that the v1 the v1 is for day 0 okay v1 v2 v3 like it was so for uh, group 1 the small a b small b then for group 2 small a small b small c all days were different and group 3 it is small a small a and small b okay so this is the way we are to uh, uh, do uh, we, uh, we are to put the superscript over our table so this is the uh, most of the publications you will see this kind of tables so this is required for uh, to be sent when you send it for publications now uh, we go back to our r software now next thing that i'll demonstrate here is to calculation of the mean and standard error okay so this already I have uh, shown done the calculation, but I'll show you how to calculate this mean and standard error at first instant. So nothing you have to do, just uh, select all these codes completely and click run. Thereafter, go to Excel file and in the Excel, just click. paste so this is the way the mean standard error everything is calculated and it has been shown in the presentable form so i hope you found this video interesting so one thing i would like to tell you is that uh, the way i pasted here when you will paste you may not be able to paste in this manner your pasting will be somewhat different so i'll show you again how uh, what will happen if i just close this excel file now and uh, if i open it once again then you can notice it so you will understand that how uh, the you will understand that uh, how to paste your data in the excel okay okay now you can see the the things have already been copied through the r software okay when you will paste it here, it will paste in this manner. That means everything has been pasted in one single cell of an Excel. Okay. So just go to the data, then text to columns. Okay. Then click next and click comma. Just select the comma and finish. And then now it is properly arranged in the presentable form. And the same way, like uh, if we go for uh, the ANOVA, ANOVA table also, like if you just, but you will have to do this exercise in the Excel only once. So till the Excel file is open, okay, just you paste it, it will get pasted in the tabular form, okay. Thereafter, when you will close it, when you open it again, then again, you will have to go through this particular process, data, text to columns, and then click on, and then select the comma okay so i hope you found this video interesting if you have any question put your uh, question in the comment box and uh, 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 and if you want this code uh, in the description box i have put the link so just follow the link and you will get the code thank you very much for your patient hearing